Today in our show, we're gonna take a look at the Duke Thomas DC Comics Multiverse figure by Mattel. This video is brought to you by Big Bad Toy Store. Shop a great selection of action figures and more at BigBadToyStore.com And there you go, that's Duke Thomas out of the packaging. He measures around 6 inches, which is equivalent to 15.3 centimeters. You can see he has this helmet, which is, is not, obviously is not removable. He has an alternate head that you can, you know, put instead. With the R symbol here, the R symbol is sculpted. It goes all around. And he has another one here. It's, it's very good, and he's like, you know, he's like really, really pissed. His jacket has these uh, patterns and this armor kind of look, which is very cool. The R is tampoed, it's not sculpted, and it has a decent amount of articulation, as you can see. Mm, no, very, very good, very good. No, nothing too, you know, problematic with that. The wrinkles on the suit, this part, these armor parts. Yeah, uh, he bends at the elbow, but you know, he doesn't have any rotation here. The hands are just uh, cuts and they rotate. He has a, you know, waist articulation. You see all the patterns here, very well detailed. You know, it features this new articulation where they hide the pecs, which is very neat. It makes the figure actually flow. Which is one thing that I will give Mattel. They really are doing, you know, very good with this uh, hidden articulation, shaved articulation. Here you see the details on his belt. The belt is made of soft plastic and it doesn't hinder the articulation at all. The guy can do full splits, yeah. And of course, he can, you know, kick forward. He put the trademarks on the man's butt. Yeah, because they own the butt. So, okay. It has the H hinge articulation, which uh, okay, it's not too dramatic in this in this case. It doesn't break too much the aesthetics of the thing. He has tie cuts. It has knee articulation, which is done in that same style with you know like that insert thing that goes there. It can fool you into thinking that you can turn it, but no, that's why you have this cut here. You don't you cannot you know rotate it at the knee. It just uh, articulates from the back. That's it. Furthermore, the wrinkles on his pants are perfectly detailed and there is articulation on, on inside his boots. The boots themselves don't articulate at all, but there is articulation hidden inside that you can, you know, turn. Obviously, as you can see, there is no ankle swivel, just speckles on the thing. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for him. For accessories, Duke comes with this little uh, smoke canister. I assume it is a smoke canister. Yeah, he holds it pretty well. He also includes his nunchucks, which is uh, very, it's, it's, it's done in a flexible plastic, bendy, and it, you know, holds it pretty well too. In case you want to pose him, you know, in some nunchuck action or bashing somebody on the head, yeah, that, that, that can work, that can work. Now, if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want to display him with his helmet, you can just remove it. And Mattel included a regular Duke Thomas head. The regular Duke Thomas head is a beautiful sculpt. As you can see as well, it tell, you know, eyes and, you know, they give some color to the mouth. Plus his haircut is radical. I like that haircut. It's, it's not painted, actually, it's sculpted. You can see the ridges here. It's very cool and it's very hip. Yeah, I like it. Look at that. Plus he also includes the left leg for the rookie build a figure. As for the packaging, is your standard DC Comics Multiverse Fair with Duke Thomas proudly displayed on the front. A graphic of Duke Thomas here on the corner with We Are Robin, New Soms Hobbin, Duke Thomas. Yeah, several languages. On the side, you see the same graphic with a small bio in different languages that you can pause and read now. And on the back, all the figures in the way that you will need to complete the rookie. Yes, and there are only five, with Duke being the number three. And for comparison, there you can see him with some of the Robins I have in my collection. You have the DC Universe class, the Damien Robin, the Young Justice Robin, and this one. Don't breathe. The DC Universe Classics one that, that if you breathe, it breaks. So just look at it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Furthermore, you can see him with other figures from different lines like 
the Sabine Brand from the Black Series and the Cosmic Spider-Man from Marvel Legends. And last but not least, with his wave mate, the Reaper. Again, Duke Thomas is a great figure, the fact that he doesn't have any bicep articulation makes him impossible to do the superhero pose, you know? I like the fact that this is rubber, he doesn't obstruct, you know, the, the turning of the hair or anything, he's a good figure. I like the design, I enjoy that he's part of the Bat family and as such he is welcome in my family of action figures. Duke Thomas is available at a lot on a lot of retailers, I found mine at Walmart. But if you don't want to do the hunt or you don't have time, I have some links in the description that where you can purchase him and the rest of the Rookie Wave. Alright, if you like this video, hit the button below, share it with your crew, and be sure to subscribe. This is Hunter Knight, signing out. Wasn't that fun? Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to visit the Toy and Pop Culture feed for the latest toy news. Thank you! Impressive. Impressive.